Greetings from the Emerald Isle, whiskey lovers. My name's Al, and this is Whiskey Street. What's up, whiskey lovers? Hello again, Big Al here, bringing you another episode of Whiskey Street. Today, I'm taking you right back into the Highlands of Scotland to do another single malt. Last time, it was the Loch Lomond 12. This time, adding six years on, moving distilleries across to the Dingston. We're going to have a look at this here. The Dingston 18 year old bourbon finish and as you can see that's one of the samples from my subscription to the guys at the Dram team. I'll put a link in down below. Now in review 21 I took my first ever look at the Dingston range and I thought it was best to start at the bottom so that was with the uh, entry level virgin oak and while I found it was decent whiskey, it was very nice. It just lacked that bit of something for me and it just really didn't float my boat. But that said, there wasn't anything really wrong with it. It just wasn't for me. So now I've decided to up the ante and go for this 18 year old and I'm really expecting a lot more. Now, this has been matured uh, in bourbon casks and it's not part of their core range, it's an annual batch release. So there's probably be a bit of variation from year to year. So what do we know about it before we get into the review proper? Well, everything's done right. It's bottled at a nice 46.3 ABV. It's non-chill filtered, there's no colouring. Now it does retail at 80 quid, which I suppose for an 18 year old is, is not bad, but Let's see if it's worth forking out that kind of dough for what we've got here. Stick around for the nosing and tasting. So let's rock on and get right into the nosing. First thing it hits you is vanilla. Nice, nice big hit of vanilla there. And then there's oak as well, and this is the sort of things that you really expect, uh, given the maturation in the bourbon casks. And then there's a nice light honey-ish thing going on there as well. As you get more into it, there's a grassy note comes in. It's sweet, it's fragrant. There's a nice big hit coming in there now of barley sugar. And that really just adds to the overall sweetness especially when you take in that little hit of holly beforehand and the vanilla and they in a way almost almost overpower the oak now as i said that bourbon influence is there but considering that this whiskey has been matured for 18 years in the bourbon casks you would really think there would be a bit more of a heavier bourbon influence there. It is there, but it is pretty light on it and the sweeter side really does take over. Time for the all important taste test now folks. Let's launch it. Let's get right on with it. Ooh. Oh, all the, oh, I wasn't expecting any of this at all. Yes, maybe a bit of vanilla that I got initially in the nose, but when it, when it hits the palate, it's, it's Hits it and then it's gone. Oof, just like that. <coughs> Bloody hell. And then comes in the honey and the barley sugar and it really is sweet. The mix of those two and while it's sweet there's a wee bit of a punch with it as well because there's a bit of clove spice added to the mix. And the only thing I think I could really compare it with is like a really heavily sugared hot toddy with that bit of spice and maybe even a little squirt of lemon in there too really wasn't expecting that so let's see if the second sip changes anything the spiciness now it's a bit more peppery but it's it's joining in with the the sweetness and again it's that barley sugar honey mix that is really prominent and 
while that pepperiness does kind of uh, complement it really well with a light warming kind of note it's not at all what I was expecting and I have to say this one really has taken me by surprise it's still nothing different there it's that very sweet barley sugar honey mix complimentary spice can't get away from that hot toddy thing it just feels like that with a bit of a lemony twist and the finish itself it's medium and the peppery spiciness going on there makes it quite dry in as well it really doesn't feel to me like a 46.3 percent abv it's more like a 40 percent maybe 43 percent and the mouthfeel is probably a tad on the lighter thin side you know for an 18 year old now overall i was really hoping for more from this you know it ticks all the right boxes when you look at the cover but then when you open the book the story's not the same it's just not as exciting you know it's a bit like watching a movie trailer and yeah and you see it and you think god this is a good movie i need to go to see it then you head off to the cinema and you come out disappointed because you realize all the good bits were in the trailer and the rest of the movie wasn't really much to write home about now don't get me wrong it's by no means a bad whiskey not at all it is nice but for me it's not 80 quid nice you know and there ain't no way i'm forking out that type of money for something unless it's really exceptional whiskey or heading towards that way and for me this just is not in that category you know so unless you really like your whiskey is really sweet and sugary and you've got money to burn i can't really recommend this to you i would i would say give it a miss and that's folks is why it's great to have a subscription to the dram team so you can try out all these sort of higher end more expensive whiskies without having to fork out the big money and then you can see for yourself which ones you like and which ones you don't and you can get yourself a wee two buy list and work on it from there so check them out so thanks for watching folks i really do appreciate your ongoing support don't forget to uh, comment down below if you have any thoughts on any of the deanston range or indeed if you've tried the 18 year old here uh, and while you're at it you know please hit that subscribe button give a fellow a bit of support you know i'm trying to get to that first big milestone of 100 subscribers so i'd really appreciate if you could help me to get there and while you're at it don't forget to ring that bell so that you can get notified of any time I post a new video. They'll mostly be reviews, but there could be the odd wee different thing coming up as well. So, thanks again folks, take care, and until the next time, drink your whiskey the way you like it.